You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's the Rice Krispie Treats Holiday Train Kit in 3D from Kellogg's. Makes one train engine, three cars, and one caboose. You got snap, crackle, and pop there. All aboard is what he's saying there. Includes 3D train molds and more seaside panel. All right, side panel. Let's get in here. Okay, that's not the side panel. This says, show it off. Take a picture of your creation and submit it to our cool site. Pick out a magnet and we'll post it to our virtual refrigerator. And then, oh, there it is. So this is, so you get three molds, Rice Krispies, marshmallows, candy, and then the different uh, icing pens. Now let's take a look at the back because there's a lot going on here. Prepare, stir, create, decorate. I think that's all we really need to know. Gather the family around the kitchen and make festive treats this holiday season. Kids and adults will love creating their own Rice Krispies trains that are fun to decorate and eat. Best of all, the sweet memories will last long after the Kellogg's Rice Krispies treats are gone. Well, there you go. Take a look at it. I'm not sure I'll be able to get it to look as nice as that, but next thing I'll do is I'll get it out of the box, wash all the pieces like it says. We'll come back and take a look at it. All right, so before I get started actually cooking anything, I want to go everything that was in the box. There are two greens, two reds, a white and a blue icing. You get these little candy colored beads, a bag of marshmallows, a bag of Rice Krispie treats. Here's your main car, your engine, and then your caboose. So this uh, basically allows you to make five train pieces. So I have to make three of these, one in one, and that should be enough to make my train so I can decorate it. So when I come back yet, I'll have some more tools out here. We'll start making the Rice Krispie treats. All right, I am set. Now when I was looking at the marshmallows that came with the kit, they just looked like they were in rough shape, a little too old, because the kit is from late last year. So I got some Fresh marshmallows. These were the snowman mellows in French vanilla. So I'm going to use those instead. I have my pan going here. I'll just get the butter on and get that melted. Now it says do everything on a low heat because you definitely don't want to burn your butter or anything. It was three tablespoons. I just got to get used to my cooktop here, my little electric stove. Heats differently than a gas stove, that's for sure. Has anybody done this kit? Be interesting to see. Leave it in the comments. Have you seen it before? All right, that's melting really nice. And then after it's all cooked, it says you let it set for five to ten minutes before you start handling it you divide it up in fifths because you got to make five cars okay that's looking nice almost fully melted we'll just throw one little guy in there just to see how he handles it okay and I'll dump my bag in now and you just gotta keep stirring keep stirring don't try to get too hot you don't want to keep turning up the heat Okay, here we go. Starting to melt real nice. Starting to break down already. Says once it's all completely melted, then put in your Rice Krispie cereal. And then when it's cooling down, I'm going to coat my molds. It says use the Pam spray or margarine or butter. I'm just going to spray on these because they are pretty intricate. There's a lot of little detail in there. It's getting there. Gonna go up a little bit between low and medium now. Try 
Trying to got to keep that centered for you there. All right, now we're talking. It's going to be a goopy mess at some point. Okay, stir constantly until marshmallows are completely melted. Pour over Rice Krispies cereal and stir well to coat. I don't have another bowl to pour it in. I'm just going to pour my cereal in here and do it right in here. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Is it getting there? You see how it just turns the last moment there? I don't think it's completely melted, but ooh, that, the vanilla or whatever that was, that vanilla? French vanilla smells good. Just turn my heat down just to be safe. just dump them all in. How's that? Nice and sticky. That's how they're supposed to be. Get the bottom scraped. They're sticking together pretty good. They're not flying everywhere, that's for sure. There we go, nice. Just keep turning. Look at that. Ooh, I think we're close. I think I got it all off. I could see the bottom. Scrape good. Looks nice and sticky everywhere. Looks like it's going to pack down good. All right, so let that sit now. Off to the side. Let's spray the molds five to ten minutes. I'll do it all right here. Make sure I get all those little crevices in there. Okay, gonna wait another five minutes. When I come back, I'm gonna get started. Okay, so my hands and my mold have the cooking spray. It's easy to grab and hold now, so you just pack it in. This is my engine. Make sure I get it right into that little scoopy chimney there. Hold on. Scoopy chimney. No. It's not a scoopy chimney. Chimney. There we go. Okay. See, I wanted to make sure it got in there. Stack, yes. Steam stack. Is that what you call it? I don't even know. Okay, I don't leave that one set. I need one of those, but I'll let that set a little. And the caboose, I'm going to let that set a little, just so I know I've got the front and back filled of my train. It said to put cooking spray on your hands also. Because as you can see, it's very sticky. It even said push with your hands. it said that. I know it said one point cover with your hand and then flip it over. All right. 
How's that look? Full? Okay, so those two cars are set. One and two. Okay, now I gotta make three of these. And then you gotta let this set for a little while. You want them to stiffen up just a little. They're still, it's a little warm to the touch, but. It's hard to get the little wheels. I'm seeming to have the hardest part, hardest time there. Plop that car there. I think I need to do a little bit of, look at my hands. I sprayed my hands, but they're still sticking to my hands, so I think I can get work through this. I'm just gonna work through it. Scoop some of this out. Got quite a bit in there. It's definitely warmer to the touch at the bottom. I feel it now. Ooh. They seem to be holding their shape okay. So it looks like a success, even though I switched out my marshmallows. I wasn't sure if it would be enough, but it looks pretty good. There we go. Okay. It's those wheels. Ooh, that one had a lot of marshmallow in it. All right, let's see. I don't think I'm gonna make three cars out. Oh wait, maybe, maybe there will be enough. Let me scoop out the rest, it's a little hot. But it's still very pliable, see? Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna spray my hands again. Sure help. Uh, see that? All right, I'm gonna try to scrape out the rest. That's all gone, see? This is the last of it right here. Wow, almost absolutely perfect. All right, a couple things. Next time, remember to have a second bowl so you pour your marshmallow on top instead of doing it the way I did it, but it still worked. Keep your hands nice and buttery like that so it's easier to work with. And remember now you can keep the molds and keep making stuff. So when I come back, I'm going to clean up, let these set a little bit, and then we'll check them out and decorate. All right, it is time to decorate, and they came out really nice. They've held their shape. I wish I could eat one right now, but I can't because I have to decorate them. Remember now you've got two green, blue, white, and two red that were in the kit, and these little candies. So let me get my little candies in the bowl. I want you to just cut the tips off of the icings. Get back here, buddy. The little green guy wanted to run away. And then let me see here. Take the tip off here. Let me do the three colors. I won't up, open up the doubles just yet. I'll open up one of each. Put those off to the side. Cut small tips. Okay. There's one. I didn't mix them at all, so we'll see. Sometimes it's good to knead it, you know. 
Ooh, that one's much bigger than the other one. And one more. Okay, let me just get this little plastic bag here and see how oh, it comes out nice. Okay, so that one's good. Nice. This one I cut much bigger than the other ones. There's only one white, and there is my green. All right. So let me move my cars out of the way. Here, I'll just put them back here. They come in with this one. Now, I guess the design possibilities are endless. It's really up to me. So let me just start with... Let me just do some windows. They kind of... Using their example here, they have a window on the side. They take it like this. Okay. And they fill that with white. After I do a few of what they say, then I'll probably just go off on one of my little icing tangents. Okay. And then they show the, the wheels in blue. And they have three on the side, so I'll just do them in red, so I'll be a little bit different here. So they're doing this. There's a lot to decorate because you got the two sides, the backs. Okay. And I think I'm going to do green. Then they have some green. And then they show the wheels as little lines, like spokes. Like that. There. All right, let me stick, I want to stick some dots on top here. Let me switch my angle. And I've got this stack here. This one here. And I think along the top here, I'm going to run some here. And I can use some of those candies. I guess you can bring in your own candies too if you want to do something different. Okay. And then I might do something that maybe looks like a wreath or something here. Let me do that on the front. Or a bow. Yeah, I'll do like a green. No, I'll do a green wreath. There. In the center, I will put some red then maybe a dot right there and we'll do a yellow one right in the center okay so let's just match this side now it's going to be hard to hold it and do it so maybe i'll just do one side at a time i'm not sure i'm not sure how much you want to see how much you want to see me decorate Okay, then the spokes. I'm going to say overall, so far, it's been a fun and easy little kit. Now, they don't want kids doing the marshmallows on the stove, so you will have to have supervision there. Okay. And choo-choo. Choo-choo! Maybe I'll decorate around here, this one here.
Okay. I'm touching something. I don't know what I touched. And then I think I want to do some garland around here, like I did in the front, just to kind of dress up my side. Tie that in there. Now what about, hmm, I was going to put dots in each one, but I'll tell you what, I'm going to leave this one like this for now. Move on to a second car. Now the wheels sort of stood out on this, but I can break this off now and eat some of it. Try to duplicate what I did on the other one. I have a feeling if I decorate this whole thing, it's going to take a good half an hour. So we'll see if I leave it in the video or not. Usually I do just because, you know. Try not to be sloppy here, but I'm also trying to accommodate us here. Okay. And then on the top, let me see. I think what I'll do is the three points on the top, I'll put a candy. I'm liking the wreath thing. My wreath theme. Let me get my wheels done here. Remember, I got two reds and two greens, so there's plenty of those. So I'm going to try to use those more so I can, you know, ooh, wait a minute. Okay. Lots more to do here. Lots more to do. I think now I'm going to run a wreath along the side or my garland along the side like I did on the front, like I did on the other train. The engine that is. It's an uneven surface there. You know what I might do? I might just get these all to look the same. Then maybe come back and add some more details and stuff. Okay. So I can let them dry. Alright, here we go. Next one. Doom, 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 doom. Well, I notice it fell off of here. Hold on a second. Moving right along. 
If I get them all at least to some even point, then I can, you know, display them and then add more detail. Okay, I think I'm running out of red. Oops. Okay. Do, 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 do. Gotta pick it up. Very uneven in spots just because of my mold and the way it worked out. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is do the garland on this side and then take a quick break. A lot of pressure on your hands. There we go. Got to squeeze real hard. I'll tell you what, I'll finish this one, take a quick break, and then come back. Plus, believe it or not, the butter from the, whatchamacallit, is making my hands slippery. So it's getting harder to hold on to these little tubes. Okay. Alright, so I really need to actually wash my hands, and I'll come back and we'll start the third car. Alright, time for car three. You can kind of see where we're headed now. And here we go. Gave my hands a little rest. I do need to open up these other ones though, because I'll be running out of red and green very soon. I'll do the same thing. Okay. I was thinking I'd show you the box art again so you can see how nicely theirs are, but then I thought, hmm, compared to mine, maybe I won't show you that again. <laughs> I thought the decorating would be easier, but it's harder than I thought just because all the surfaces. Okay. Now their cars all had two wheels. I'm putting three wheels on all of mine. I think I'll run out of the green on this one here. Let me just squoosh it down. Okay. 
Okay. It's getting warmer in my hands too. That's why I'm it's kind of coming out a lot easier now that my hands have been around it. Do, 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 do. Okay. Now the top three more little white dots. Okay, let me get my caboose in and do that. Now this really had two cutouts for the back wheels, so since everything has been doing, I've been doing everything in three, I'm just going to follow that theme. Okay. I think this is it for the red. I'm not sure I have enough to make the spokes. try. Let me squish it all down. And everything that falls off, you know, go ahead and eat it. spoke. I know it looks pretty chaotic but and now the wreaths on the sides of this. You see I might be able to do it this way easier. <laughs> And now something on the top. Let's do the top of this one a little bit different, even though they're all following this theme. He's the caboose. He just gets one. Now let's just take a step back and look. Okay, remember where you have to grab, too, without touching anything. All right, so there is... My train. I think I need some more color on the side. Let me, let me make let me make a window on these. I'm gonna get a more blue in here, and I'll give. Well, let me do something on the fronts here. You know, sometimes between train cars there's doors, so I'll make a door. You're probably all wondering, am I going to eat this? I haven't decided yet. I might want to display it for a day or two.
<lacht> okay. Now let's get some red. I got that fresh red. Just gonna put some red. And I think I'm gonna put more dots on each of these. Ooh, two reds in a row. That's how it worked out, and that's why I'm leaving it. Oops. Gets hard now. You almost have to let everything dry. Oops, come on, get back here. Well, I could circle those in white. That might look cool. Or the green, since I have a lot of extra green. I might do that. I guess, ooh, I'm not going to do that again. I guess as you're creating, you're deciding. It did say you can pre-draw or, you know, map out your design before you start. Mr. Caboose out of the way. Can go on for hours. Okay. What do you think so far? I think uh, I think it looks good. I was thinking I might put another green. Here, let's do this one a little bit more. It doesn't have a lot. Let me get my full green now. And I'm just going to do the top edge. Then I'll outline this. Oh, come on now. Now you're giving me trouble. The front of the caboose. Or is that the back? That is the back of the caboose. Couple more dots. I'm gonna eat one of these. It's like a sweet tart candy. Good. Good. Okay, I can go on forever, but I think we all get the idea. Let's just set it up and take a look at it one last time. My engine. Car number one. Car number two. Car number three. And the caboose. How's that? We turn this a little bit this way. Okay, I'll show you what they did because theirs is so much nicer. This is their train. See the difference? That is the Rice Krispies Treats Holiday Train Set in 3D. Real easy to do. And now I have the mold so I can make it anytime I want, really. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, you know, let us know in the comments. And if you're having a wonderful Christmas season, let us know in the comments. And if you'd like to see other 
maker stuff like this, then look in the description. We'll have a playlist there. Or as always, you can search our channel. And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.